Hello everybody, this is Dr. C. Let's look very quickly at balancing redox reactions. So, so far when we balance reactions, we balance by inspection. And for a lot of reactions, that works pretty well. Redox reactions are a little bit more complex, oxidation reduction reactions. Now, we can balance these in either acidic or basic solution. We will always start, even if the problem says basic, start as if it's acidic, and we'll take care of the basic part at the end. So we'll assume these are all acidic to start. Step one. Okay, so we have to separate this reaction into two reactions. We call these half reactions. One half is the reduction, the other half is the oxidation. We don't have to identify them now. We'll identify them as we go on. So clearly, ClO minus must go with Cl minus, okay? And CrOH4 minus must go with CrO4 two minus. In most cases, it's pretty easy to see what must go with what. So those are our two half reactions. One of those will be reduction, a gain of electrons. One will be an oxidation, a loss of electrons. Let's figure out which one is which. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Next rule, and I'll write it down here. Okay, so balance everything else first, besides hydrogen and oxygen. So for example, in this first half reaction here, okay, at the top, we would balance chlorine first. It's already balanced, so we're good. Okay, one chlorine on the left, one chlorine on the right. Okay, next step, balance oxygen by adding water. These are all aqueous, so we can add as much water as we need to. So let's look at the first one. There's one oxygen on the left, so we're going to add one water molecule to the right. That's a plus, sorry. Okay, so now we have one oxygen on the product side, one oxygen on the reactants. Now we did add some hydrogen, so the next step is balance hydrogen by adding H+. We're going to assume it's acidic to start, so we're going to have excess hydrogen ions floating around. We have two hydrogens on the right, so I need two H pluses on the left. Okay, so everything's still balanced, right? We have one chlorine on each side, one oxygen on each side, two hydrogens on each side. Piece of cake. Last step, you will notice the charges on each side are not the same. And these are redox reactions, oxidation reductions. Electrons are flowing, they're moving. Okay, we need to identify how many electrons one of these half reactions is gaining and how many electrons the other half reaction is losing. One will lose, one will gain, oxidation reduction. So the fifth step, I'm just going to write it here, balance charge by adding electrons. Okay, so on the left hand side, 2 times plus 1 is plus 2, and minus 1, my total charge on the left is plus 1, my total charge on the right is minus 1. Okay, so there's a difference. There's a difference in, of 2, so we need 2 electrons. Plus 1 to minus 1 is a difference of 2. 2 electrons, which side do they go on? Remember, electrons are negatively charged. So my electrons have to go on the left. Minus 2, so this is negative 2 for the two electrons, plus 1 is going to equal the negative 1 on the other side. So that half reaction, this is a gain of electrons, okay? That is reduction. Gain of electrons is reduction. Oil rig, if you were in my class, we use this mnemonic, oil rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So that is your reduction half reaction. So the next one must be oxidation. The, the electrons must be lost. They must show up on the product side. So let's go through the same steps for the second half reaction. One chromium, one chromium, already balanced, golden. 
Four oxygens, four oxygens. Oh, we don't need to balance out either. Piece of cake. We do have four hydrogens on the left, so I'm going to have to add four hydrogen ions on the right. Okay, so that takes us down to step four. Step five, balance the charge. So what do we have? We have minus one on the left. We have minus two and plus four. We have plus two on the right. That's a difference of three. So I'm going to need three electrons. Plus two and minus three will give me minus one. There you go. Maybe it doesn't seem so bad. There's a lot of little steps to follow. You do have to break it apart into two half reactions. Balance everything other than oxygen and hydrogen first. Chlorine was balanced in the first one. Chromium was balanced in the second. Balance oxygen by adding water. Balance hydrogen by adding H+. This is something really new for us because we haven't really ever thought about this. The fifth step, we will have to balance the charge by adding electrons. Okay, so far so good. Now, we still have two half reactions. We then need to add those half reactions together, but remember electrons gained must equal electrons lost. Okay, that makes perfect sense, right? We can't gain any more electrons than those that are lost. Okay, so we gain two electrons here, we lose three there. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. We've lost three, but we only gained two. What are we going to do with that? One quick thing, this would be the oxidation half reaction. These electrons were lost by the reactants. They show up over on the product side. So this reaction is losing the electrons. This half reaction, the reduction, is gaining those. But they have to be equal. They have to be equal. So what the heck are we going to do? Oh, let me write it on this side because I ran out of room. We're going to multiply the first one by 3, and we're going to multiply the second one by 2. Does everybody see why? Yeah, of course. We'll, we'll then have 6 electrons gained, 6 electrons lost. And I should have left myself a little bit more space to add these together, but let's see if I can squeeze it in here. Okay? So, we're going to have 6 electrons gained and lost. You could write your 6 electrons in, but then you're going to cancel them out. So I'm going to leave them out. But you'd have six electrons on the reactant side, six electrons on the product side. Since those are the same, we're going to cancel them. So let's go to three times two. It's going to be six H plus. And I'm leaving my aqueous off. Three times ClO minus. Two times this chromium compound, chromium hydroxide. Don't forget your charges. Your charges are important. Those are our reactants. Product side, three times Cl minus, three times water, two times chromate, two times 4H plus, 8H plus. Did I get everything? I hope so. So now the last step is you should always double check, is this balanced? So the atoms have to balance. I have six hydrogens plus eight more, two times four, that's 14. I have eight plus six, 14. That looks good. Three chlorines, three chlorines. Two chromiums, two chromiums. What about oxygen? I have three plus eight, two times four, that's 11. I have three plus two times four, I have 11. So double check that yourself, but it looks like my atoms balance. The other thing, though, is that charge must balance. So these are different. So not only must the atoms balance, but the charge must balance. That will show us that we set up the, uh, the number of electrons gained and lost correctly. So let's check that. Plus 6, 6 times plus 1, 3 times minus 1. So that's a, na that's a plus 3 so far. 2 times minus 1. I count a plus one total on the reactant side. What do we have on the product side? Three times minus one is minus three. Two times minus two is minus four. That's minus seven. Eight times plus one plus eight, minus seven plus eight, plus one. Looks good. 
Boom. All right, I think I did it right. So that's balancing a redox reaction. Last thing for this video. So again, lots of steps, they make sense. Follow the steps, write these down. Separate, balance everything else first, balance oxygen by adding water, balance hydrogen by adding H+, balance charge by adding electrons, add the half reactions together after you make electrons gain and loss the same, and then double check that it's balanced. So there's kind of a seventh step there, you know, double check that your equation is balanced for atoms and charge. Okay, last thing. I'm going to rewrite this equation that we just balanced. Okay, so there's that same equation. This is acidic. How do I know? Excess hydrogen ion. Okay. What if the problem asks for basic solution? Okay. Well, we're going to get to this point. We're going to balance, as, as, balance it as if it's acidic solution, and then we're just going to flood it with base. Flood it with base. What's base? What's the strongest base that can exist in water? We're just going to load it up. Ah, hydroxide. Oh, you know what I forgot? God, you guys didn't correct me. I can simplify this. 6H plus here, 8H plus there, that's going to leave 2 there. That actually makes our life simpler. So if you have the same numbers on each side, I, I could cancel 6H pluses from each side of the equation. Sorry, I sometimes get ahead of myself. Okay, now we're going to flood it with hydroxide. Hydroxide is strong base. We're going to make this solution basic by brute force. Okay, How much hydroxide should I add? I can add as much as I want, but all I really need to add, I have two hydrogen ions. So I'm just going to add two hydroxides, because that's going to neutralize those two hydrogen ions. But I added two hydroxides to the product side. I'm going to have to add two to the reactant side to keep it balanced. To keep it balanced. All right, so let's rewrite this. 2OH minus... This is now basic hydroxide. Two H plus is two hydroxides. How many waters? Two waters. And it looks like that gave us more water. So we actually have, let's cancel that. We actually have, now have five waters on the product side. So I think that's our balanced reaction. Let's double check. Three chlorines, three chlorines, two chromiums, two chromiums. How many oxygens now? Two plus three is five, plus eight is 13. Five plus eight is 13. Um, two hydrogens plus eight, that's 10. 10 hydrogens, looks good. Charge, minus three, minus two, I have minus five. Minus three. Oh, minus two. Sorry, there's minus 2 there, minus 3 there, minus 2. I have a minus 7, and I have a minus 3. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. I have a minus 7. I scared myself there for a second. I thought I screwed it up, but I don't think I did. Whew. Okay, there you go, balancing redox reactions. Even if the problem asks you to balance it in basic solution, Balance it as if it were acidic. Follow the same rules we did. And then you're going to flood it with base to make it basic. What's base? Hydroxide. You don't have to flood it with base, but you need to add enough hydroxide to neutralize the hydrogen ions. Two H pluses in this case. We add two hydroxides to both sides of the equation. And then sometimes you can cancel some things out. We were able to add our three waters and two waters together to give us five. All right, enough for now. I will see you in class. Take care.